Hi, my name is Charles Mason III, and I'm in need of a living kidney donor. Walking down the street with Charles Mason III, you never know he's been living and, dare we say, thriving despite having kidney disease. I was diagnosed when I was 10 years old, so I've been living with kidney disease, chronic kidney disease, uh, for about 23 years now. And I was diagnosed on September 11th. The artist dabbles in a number of mediums, but painting is where he's found his voice. I didn't know what I would do with these drugs. I don't know when I would do something with these drugs, but I knew that they needed to live. And like he saw the beauty and possibilities of discarded rugs, he's hoping someone will see him and give him an opportunity to live a full life. If I have a living donor, they get a workup and everything, and we see if we're compatible, and then from there, I was told like it could happen in a couple months. The kidney could last longer. I could get like another 20 years. I will eventually need another transplant of some sort. But the hope is that a living donor is like the healthiest uh, form of kidney transplant. Mason has been on medication to combat the disease since his diagnosis. At times, the medications have caused him more harm than help. I had a seizure and they put me in a coma for like four days when I was like, I want to say sixth or seventh grade. Um, around that time, right? And so it was funny when I woke up, all this weight that I had gained had kind of left. In February, his doctors informed him his kidney function had changed yet again. My kidney function every year, like, decreases or changes. I mean, there was a time where it was consistent. It stayed around the same function when I was, like, younger. But, like, especially recently, like, with the decline in kidney function, like, I start to see more of the effects. Tremors, fatigue, anemia are some of the more noticeable side effects. But the internal anxiety is what often weighs him down. If I think too hard on it, I wouldn't be able to do, like, basic stuff. Because I would just get wrapped up in, like, all the potentials of something bad happening or, like, maybe not getting a donor or maybe not being able to get one from the list. At this stage, without a donor, Mason will have to resort to dialysis, which would change his daily life and restrict the art he's able to create. Reporting in Baltimore City, Megan Rivers, WBAL-TV 11 News.